Captain, my Captain. Captain, urgent news from the General. Why not really blow it up, Captain? Captain's lost. Bugging his arsenal and fire. I'm giving her off, she's bad, Captain. My Captain. No, Captain. They're alive. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. This is your Captain speaking. And welcome to Tier List Tuesdays. Uh, Levi just went down, so we started 30 minutes after I was hoping to start, but um, yeah, uh, he's asleep. It took him a while. Uh, and today we are going to be doing a. So I, I. Today we are doing the whole package uh, theme. Uh, the. Not just does it feel like the fighter, which we already did. We are doing the whole package, the art, the, the cards, the ability, the stats, the map, the minis, all of it. How did Restoration Games do on the theme? Was it, con was it like consistent? Did it feel right through the whole thing? Um, and that's what we're doing today. So theme, and I'm calling it package. But... Uh, First off, I wanted to give a shout out to my crockpots. We have Bromantic, Greg's, Vlasinski, 619 Sports, Chick Charney, O Town, and Shy Guy for Smash. Huge shout out to you guys. And uh, here we go. If you ain't first, you're last. You chose one. Not as bad as you think. Yeah, it's worse. You know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Well, I don't really like it, but I thought you might like it. It's the best. Not all the way to the top, top ten. The best. Best for everyone or best for you? You have chosen wisely. All right, so getting right into it. Thanks for being here, guys. This is, this is going to be a fun one. Um, so getting right into it, let's go look at our stuff here. So... As as always, let me give the caveat of if you're trying to figure out because this is these tier lists are not for most likely they're not for the people that own all the sets. I mean, you might be watching, and it might be fun to watch and like hear what my thoughts are on the sets. But this is specifically mostly for these these tier lists are for people that are new into Unmatched. They're they're trying to figure out is it for me, uh, and if it is, which one should I get? So that's what these are for. Um, if you are new and you know, like, man, I love, I don't know, you say, I love Spider-Man. Well, then guess what? You should get Brains and Brawn. No question. Uh, if you say, I love Sherlock Holmes, then get Cobble and Fog. Whatever fighter you are, like, just drawn to and in love with, go and get that fighter. Um, go and get that set because you're not going to be disappointed. They did a great job. You'll be very, very uh, happy with the set that you get. So that out of the way, let's look at theme, the whole package, um, and how they, how Restoration Games delivered, and the way that I rank them. This is a very hard one to do, by the way. This is this is a difficult one. I think the the does it feel like the fighter is is easier to do. Uh, this is sort of everything else that has to do with that theme, um, and usually, and this will be actually the thing that. Probably when someone says, man, that game had really good theme, this is probably what they're thinking about. I would think, but maybe not. Um, all right, so as always, first things first, I don't know anything about the Buffy set. Uh, I don't know anything about it. It could be really good, but, and I and honestly, I mean, I mean the, art's, the art's good. Um, the artwork is cool. The minis are bland. They're just sort of static, just staying there. Um, we're getting more and more into the, the the minis that are like, they're in like an action pose. When you, th you think of Spider-Man, Tomoe goes in, um, Black Widow, right? Those are like, those, uh, Black Panther, those minis are like, something's happening. Uh, and if you look at Buffy set, they're just, they're all like this. You know, like, there's nothing really happening. A lot of sets struggle, uh, suffer with that as well. But uh, Buffy set specifically, nothing really going on. Uh, the maps are cool. Visually, nothing to, you know, write home about. But um, they are cool. They're good good maps to play on. And uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna pivot because there's no, they don't have an F. They don't have an F. Uh, we're going to 
we're gonna bump up to to D. So there's nothing F. There's probably nothing D, honestly. Also, uh, in reality, um, but I have I have these broken down into different tiers as far as my opinion goes. Do I need to have them in F? No, no, we'll have them in D. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. The next set uh, is going to be shocking for you guys, uh, but if you watched my last video, it's not as shocking. So the next set is, is going to be Redemption Row. Uh, and Redemption Row for me is it's a great set, first off. All these sets are worth buying, okay? So I'm not knocking any sets. Uh, but Redemption Row, as far as the theme, as far as like the whole package, the artwork for me drops it the one of the lowest. This, this is the worst art in all of Unmatched, um, from my opinion. Some people think it's their, it's their best, it's their favorite, but uh, for me, it's, it's the worst art of, in all of Unmatched besides the backs of the Cobble and Fog cards. Um, and so that that's a big knock on it. Um, and then the minis, the my the best mini in the set is going to be Ghost Rider, and he's my one of my least favorite fighters, so that doesn't really help out much. Uh, mini, uh, Moon Knight's pretty cool. He's, you know, the big old, the cape, like it's, that's pretty cool, pretty grandiose. Luke Cage is just really basic, like that, you know, just really basic. Uh, and then the map is just pretty bland. Uh, and then the cards are the same art style as the cover. Um, the whole feel of it, it's cool. It's a good set, but it's going to be C tier. C -tier. Um, right above that, we're going to put this one. Okay, maybe I do like this. Uh, we're putting Battle Legends Volume One, and this is going to. This is a good set, guys. Okay, it is a good set. I don't love it. It's not one of my favorite sets, but the artwork on the cards is actually really, really good. Uh, card art is great. Box art is great. Um, the the maps are pretty. Uh, nothing really special about this stuff. Um, as far as so let's, let's, let's think back at theme. Let's think about at theme as a whole as a whole. Um, the, the the what's cool with this one is like with the Alice, like the the going big, going small. That that theme is great. Um, I'll go back to the Redemption Row. I didn't really talk about their stuff either. So Redemption Row, um, Luke Cage with his natural ability, that's awesome. That works really well. Thematically, works really well, and Moon Knight switching forms, they, that carries on through the whole the whole set. And there's certain cards that you want to play as Moon Knight, certain cards you want to play as Conchu, certain cards you want to play as uh, as Mister Knight, um, and then Ghost Rider can vroom and, and do fire stuff. So the theme is good there. The, the, the theme on all these is good. They 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 don't do bad themes. So when I'm if I'm praising a, a set that's in C tier, it's because they're so good. Um, when you look at um, this set, uh, uh, Legends Volume One, just saying, guys, I need some, I need some caffeine. Uh, by the way, I love these. This is not an ad. I'm not getting paid by them at all, but these are really good. Okay, uh, this is where I get my caffeine if I'm not drinking Mountain Dew. I'm trying to cut back on the Mountain Dew. I'm trying to get a little healthier. So, mmm, got re legit, really good. This does not taste like a V8. I have V8s in my fridge, but I can't ever bring myself to actually drink them. It's like, it's like mowing the yard. You just don't want to start, you know? Like, I don't want to do it. Drinking a V8 is, it's a, it's a chore. Drinking a V8 uh, plus, not a chore. Delicious. All right. Hopefully that'll wake me up a little bit. Um, so Sinbad, doing his voyages, um, the way that works with his with his kit, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, Alice going big, small, really thematic uh, with her stuff. It's random, which is which is odd, um, but it's cool because by random I mean it's it's only controlled by your cards. So it's not like uh, Moon Knight where it's a consistent thing, and it's not like uh, Doctor Jekyll where it's you know at the start of your turn you choose or whatever. So with with uh, Alice, she's going to be randomly switching. Um, with based on your cards and uh, so it's cool it's thematic you, in that sense because that's what it is right if you're looking at it from the feel I would say not as thematic but as is it's pretty thematic King Arthur feels great King Arthur I would say feels the best in this set um, 
and but he's also the worst in the set. So and he's he's one of the worst in the game. So uh, it's it's tough that he has like the best card art in the set and the cool the best sidekick. Um, but just he's just super undertuned. Uh, and then Medusa, super strong. Um, yeah, it's a good set. It's a good set. She she feels like you feel like you're Medusa. Um, I keep going back to the. I'm sorry, guys. I keep going back to the other set, the other theme thing. This is a tough one, right? Uh, yeah. So the between everything overall, the whole package, it's good, not great. Overall, good, not great. Uh, next one we have Robin Hood and Bigfoot. I wonder if this is. I haven't even looked at this one compared to my other set. So um, to my other theme ranking. It'd be funny if it's the exact same. I don't think it is the exact same, but it could be very, very close. I have no idea. Um, so Bigfoot and Robin Hood. Um, yeah, the, the this box feels good. It's a good set. And uh, you have good art. The, Any time that... I always forget his name. Why do I forget his name? The artist, guys. The artist that did this one, uh, Battle of Legends Volume uh, 1... Um, man, I wish I had his name for you guys. I apologize. Um, anyway, he, he's my favorite artist for Unmatched. Okay, he Oliver Barrett. Oliver Barrett. It just hit me. I think that's what it is. Pretty sure Oliver Barrett. Um, he is really, really good. I love his work. Love his style. Now, I'm I am more excited about the art coming up for Slings and Arrows, um, and that was the artist. I think that did, yeah, the artist that did Battle Legends Volume 2, which is also super, super solid art. Um, so I'm very excited about that set coming up. It's going to be, the fact that they f are finally doing three cards that are, that form one picture, guys, I don't even, I'm not even going to play the game. I'm just going to put the cards out and look at them. I'm going to, I'm going to get an extra set and just frame it on my wall. Like, I, I'm so excited for that. Um, anyways, I digress. We have, uh, Robin Hood Bigfoot, um, the whole thing, the whole theme, the whole package. Uh, the minis are cool, um, not great. Uh, Bigfoot, Bigfoot's mini was one of the coolest when it came out. It's got a log, like he's just massive. Uh, the closest thing to a large figure that we had, you know, before um, the T Rex. And Robin Hood is is an okay mini, um, not too dynamic. Uh, the sets are, or the maps are great visually. It's cool that you have like a green one, and the other side you have like a deserty one. Really thematic there. It works works really well. Um, and then the uh, the cards. The cards are, are good. You're bouncing around. Um, you're bouncing around and doing some cool movement stuff, which works for the the thing that they had set up and like the ability. The the Bigfoot's ability is interesting because it's it is really good in some situations, and it's absolutely useless in other situations. Which is a cool ability. It's cool that that you. Um, it would be like if Medusa had to always attack and had to had to aggress another fighter, then she's probably never getting her ability off. Um, but that really doesn't happen very often. Uh, but Bigfoot's ability of, of being, basically not being seen, you get stronger, that's cool, and it's thematic. Um, and so that comes across in his cards and in the way that they, that they planned his deck out, and it works really well. Uh, and then Robin Hood bouncing around and using his men, um, that works really well. Um, and that theme is is very consistent throughout. Um, all right, next up, guys, in B tier, just above this one, we have Teen Spirit. Um, Teen Spirit, I don't know much about this, the fighters. Uh, I did watch a little Miss Marvel show. <clears throat> not not in love with it. Not great. Um, Miss Marvel's mini, I really like. Cloak and Dagger, I really like. What I like about Cloak and Dagger's minis are that they, it looks like Dagger would fit and just, she just nestle right into uh, Cloak. And that looks really cool. How like if you took them apart, you could like put them together. Um, I think that's really cool. And, but but not, besides that, that there's not like much going on. Um, Squirrel Girl's actually the most dynamic in the, in the set as far as the mini goes. She's like up on her tail, like ready to do some squirrel stuff. She's on like a, uh, a stump and there's like squirrels around her um, she she feels like she got the most attention as far as like let's really make this character like work 
um, as far as theme and everything. Um, so, but hers looks good. The 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 little squirrels being the small fighters, really cool. Um, for a little side note, but, but I got an issue nose, guys. I'm sorry. Um, a little side note, by the way. I did a lot of when I first got into Unmatched. I got I did a lot of like research on like okay, I want to get, I want to get some like actual trap minis and like put the trap minis on the board and and all right when i get squirrel girl, i'm gonna get a bunch of squirrels um because it'll look better than than the actual tokens and and i wanted minis for all my sidekicks because specific, specifically because of um probably because of uh, uh malcolm uh, dr malcolm um in the jurassic park set he's got that mini when it's really cool it's fun the problem with doing sidekicks for minis uh one, it gets a little cluttered on your board if you have sidekicks for your minis. It's sort of harder to tell who's the, the hero and stuff, especially from a, a standpoint of like a viewer, if you're spectating or if you're just coming into it and you don't know what you're looking at, it's very hard to follow. Uh, but the second thing, the, the biggest reason why I'm not doing that and I will not put any money into that is that, let's say that you got a trap, right? And then your a fighter has to run on the trap. Now I know if you run on the trap, you just immediately remove it, but you couldn't even, if it's a 3D printed thing, you'd have to like balance it, right? Like, I don't know, you just go like, oh, I'm on the trap, and then you move it. Okay, now that's not as big of a deal, right? It's a big deal to me, but it's not as big of a deal to some people. It's like, oh, just remove it before you before you move on to it or whatever. Um, if you're, okay, sorry, sorry, that's a silly that's a silly example. Let's take Muldoon and his workers moving onto traps because they're not gonna set the traps off. That will not work. Uh, you have to set them on there, and like they're they're like this, you know, like that wouldn't look good. The next thing, the other thing, um, is with the squirrels. This is this is way bigger because if you have eight squirrels and four of them are on a spot and they are not the little tokens, then you're gonna have a very hard time putting your your guy on that space. And and then you start to get cluttered. Like, wait, is this squirrel in this space or this space? And like, you bump it just slightly, you're gonna be, it's gonna be a nightmare. So. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't do the uh, little tokens and the upgrades in that sense. I would do uh, sidekick, not sidekick. Um, I would upgrade for Tales to a Maze. I would upgrade the uh, monsters. If you can find some really cool um, minion monsters. So for, uh, it's been a while since I played it, but for um, the Toad and the Ant Queen and for those guys, if you can find some upgraded uh, minis that work really well and look cool, Go for them, cause that would that would that would be a cool little little thing to have. Um, all right, back to the set. So, um, Navy Pier. It's a great map. Um, the artwork for Navy Pier, and the artwork for the the cards themselves, it it really flows nicely. It's one of the best like matching where the map matches the artwork and the cards. Um, a lot of the other ones don't really feel like they they actually go together like the. Either it was not the same artist or whatever, but that set really does feel nice with, um, with the way the cards match the, the feel um, of the map. The cards themselves are cool. I like the art on the cards, but the there's not a lot going on in the background. So there's like a foreground element, uh, fighter, whatever, and then there's just blank in the background. Now, a lot of sets have that. Uh, most sets probably have that, actually. But... It's very noticeable in this set, in in the uh, Teen Spirit set. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's my that's the that's why they are in B. Now we're gonna move up to A. And again, guys, all of these are good sets. All of these have incredible theme. There's nothing that you can really complain about with any of these sets. But I am doing a tier list, so I have to rank them. Bruce Lee. Uh, Bruce Lee is it's a uh, it's hard to like give him bonus points or hard to knock points um, because he's just a solo fighter in a box. The box looks cool. The art on the set looks really cool. And it feels like Bruce Lee. Um, and the way the whole G the whole Jeets, all the Jeet stuff, like it works really well. Um, I guess, you know, here, here's the way I would explain this, this tier list video best would be if you look at Little Red, she does not feel like Little Red should feel. But the theming in the box is so good. And the way that they make that, that the, what they chose for Little Red is really, really good and it really comes through. So that's what this is. That's why she'll be higher ranked, much higher ranked. So 
that's what this video is doing. It's like, now if the car character feels like the, the fighter, then there's not going to be much of a difference potentially in the ranking. Um, but yeah, this fighter feels, this fighter feels good. Uh, and what they decided to do with the box, with the set, it works really well. Um, and he's right there in A tier. Next fighter we have, the uh, next set we have is, not fighter, uh, is uh, Brains and Brawn. So, uh, Brains and Brawn, this is low in my opinion, but maybe there's a reason why. Maybe there's a reason why. There's a lot in S. Okay, that's, that's possibly why. So, Brains and Brawn, one of my favorite sets for art. Um, Spider-Man is my favorite art in the whole game. Sanctum Sanctorum really works for the for the map choice <clears throat> with um, with Doctor Strange being in the set works really well. Doctor Strange art is not my favorite. Uh, it's cool. It's a cool idea, but it's not. It's not very good. Uh, it would be just above for me. I think it'd be just above. It might be a little. It might be tied with. It's either above or below. No, not below. It's either above or tied with Redemption Row for Doctor Strange. What's cool about this set is that they do have different artists doing the, the cards. And then I really loved uh, Black Widow's, not Black Widow, um, She-Hulk's art. She-Hulk's art is very, very cool. Um, just the way that they they just pop the, uh, there's all that purple um, and then green. It just really pops, really cool. And um, her mini is, this set needs to maybe go up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna have to adjust this one because her mini is super awesome. It's like Bigfoot, but even more dynamic because she is like breaking the ground she's standing on and she has a, uh, a pillar. And then the tying of the pillar to the map itself uh, is really cool. Yeah, she might have to go up um, or the set might have to go up. Uh, and then Spider-Man. Guys, this is, a lot of people don't like this mini because they don't feel like it's a, it's not, it's not the classic Spider-Man pose, right? The, the classic Spider-Man pose is where he's like, you know, his legs are up like this and he's like, ah. is there, it might be behind me actually. Is there one? No. No. Okay. Well, anyways, this is not classic Spider-Man pose. I like this pose though, a lot. Um, I love that the newspaper's on the ground, that he's, that he's coming. Uh, with a super super awesome punch and in the way that the set works this makes more sense right this this set needs to go higher it does need to go higher I'm, I'm gonna have to bump it up higher um, so yeah uh, again this this is he doesn't really feel like spider-man uh, that was one of my knocks he doesn't have like the web stuff but this mini does represent what he does in a way especially with his like well I was gonna say swing and kick but it is a punch coming but Maybe, maybe it's a momentous shift or something coming. I don't know. Um, and then Doctor Strange, another another dynamic, pretty dynamic. He's, he's like sitting on the cloud. Of, you know, they could have had him on the ground or just standing. I like that he's meditating and there's uh, like the, the charms and stuff going on. So the minis are really, really top level. The map is top, is really, really good. Um, and then the cards, do they feel like, okay, this is why it's down lower. So with the with the th there's not enough for spider-man spidey sense there's not really any more um there, there should have been some more cards of like like there's a couple where it says like if your opponent's card is higher than a four than this and if you're if it's or a four or higher it's this um i think there's two cards that do that besides those two cards it doesn't really do it um and you can't take more than this x damage and maybe there should have been some more of that. Uh, there should have definitely been more webs and stuff um, for Spider-Man. But and then uh, She-Hulk, She-Hulk throwing stuff again. I don't know anything about She-Hulk, so her throwing stuff apparently is a thing. Um, I don't know how that works. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna move the setup higher. It will be moving higher. Um, but there it is for now. Uh, the next set we have is Hell's Kitchen. And Hell's Kitchen, another Oliver Barrett, which, mm, incredible, incredible stuff. Um, he did this set, and Hell's Kitchen, great map, 
it, it makes sense that sense that they're fighting there. Let me just think about it, guys. Let me think about this. I'll take a drink as I'm thinking. That is really good drink. That is delicious. Um, so, with the theming that they've done with, with Daredevil, and the choice of making him, like, go forever, it actually it works really well. Um, that he can do a blind stuff, or he can go infinite. That works really well. The artwork is incredible for, for his set. The boxer, yeah, son of a boxer, great. breather yeah i mean yeah he, he, the theming of that of that whole of that set really works for uh, the, of his character works electra dying coming back having the ninjas do all that crazy stuff it works really well a every set from here on out is going to work really well there's gonna be some that might not work as well i might have to jump them down um but it feels really good uh, the the and then bullseye bullseye with his range five his winning combat stuff, not being able to block too much. Yeah, this is a great set, guys. Um, there's no knocks on it at all. Do I have any knocks on this set? I mean, am I done with having knocks on sets? Yeah, I think that's probably why Brains and Bond is, is back, but let's look at the, the, the minis. Let's think about the minis real quick. Electra, sort of dynamic. She's doing that, you know, that pose with the, with the little, uh... oh yeah, guys, check out this shirt real quick. Check out this shirt. Big fan. This is another one of the. Uh, is that long? Here we go. This is another one of the shirts from India, from my friend Dinesh. Um, and then the Daredevil, not that dynamic. Bullseye, not that dynamic. Electra, sort of dynamic. So, all right. Immediately we're doing this. Yeah, we're gonna drop that there. Boom. Okay. Uh, next one, guys. We are in S tier now, so all of these are S tier. You could make an, a case for any of these to be in S tier, honestly. Like they're they're all good. If you've seen Buffy and you're like, this is the greatest, then maybe it goes up higher. But um, so the next sets, they're low. I don't know how they're this low, but we're going with the Raptors and Ingen. Raptors Ingen. Oliver Barrett. Um, I hope I got his name right. It sounds good, but. What if I've been just saying the wrong name the whole time? So Oliver Barrett did this set uh, with the art. The map is really cool. The IP is cool. It, it, the, the traps and the movement effects, that works really well together. Um, InGen being moved three does not make sense. So InGen and his guys should be moved two. They should not be moved three. Um, he's just a dude. He's a regular dude. Uh, who's who's carrying eight traps? He should be slower. Um, and then the range too, which is which is awesome. So, yeah, that'd be a knock on the theme there. Uh, and then the Raptors, no knock on their theme at all. The the action gain, the the movement of all this, like just the way that the cards work, really really uh, makes sense for the way that their their ability works. Um, the art. The raptor poses are awesome, uh, and I have because of the way that the raptor poses are, I have no complaints about his. He looks exactly like he should look. If he was doing anything else, it would I would have a complaint about it. But he looks exactly like he should look, so there's gonna be no knocks on that. Um, and when you pair him up with the the three raptors, the one that's on the you know the tail, the one that's like like the classic where he just he just heard the noise. Uh, and then you got the other one, which is like, man, I'm doing, I guess, I'm really good at gestures. Um, yeah, those are, uh, it's great. It's a great set. It should probably be higher. But every set so far is so good. Um, and every set after this is even better. All right, next up, we have T-Rex and Sattler. So T-Rex Sattler is... It's a, it's a tough one, but obviously the T-Rex Mini, guys, uh, is awesome, um, and that just jumps this thing way up. 
Oh, and then the movie quotes, right? So like the movie quotes coming through and the theme and stuff. Really, really good. Um, this one, same thing. Uh, I like the map thematically better than the Raptor Paddock, uh, the T-Rex Paddock, because it has the car. It's like this is the scene where the 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 T-Rex came out and like the Jeep's there, and so it's pretty cool in that sense. Um, the color zones don't make too much sense, but it's fine. You can't get like seven different shades of purple. That would that'd be too much. Um, Sattler. The, one of the least dynamic poses for a an unmatched mini uh, just just a girl just standing there but uh, then you have Malcolm dr. Ian Malcolm who's a very dynamic pose he is laying on his on his rug mat thing and his shirts open so he counters out he counters that a little bit and then of course the Raptor or not Raptor the t-rex uh, arguably the most where is my t-rex just the most like dynamic and just incredible thing with that things on the board. It's awesome. So, the minis go are really really good. Even though uh, she's low, T Rex is so high. Um, and then uh, the cards. Cards are good. The art's good. Um, the movie set. The movie quotes. The health dial. When you pull out that twenty seven health health dial, it's just this big. It's actually this big. Like. When you, <laughs> the first time you see that, and you're like playing against, even someone with like, yeah, here you go. Here's a 14 out, 14 HP, health dial. Okay. And then you pull out the T Rexes, which is like this big. It's really cool. That moment is is neat when you see it for the first time, especially when someone sees it for the first time. It's a very cool moment. Um, and yeah, the, the, just the whole set works. The, they they made it. They made T-Rex work really well and feel really good because uh, the movement being one with the range of two, the large fighter thing, they really thought that through. Works really well. Um, and enough said. Yeah, great, great set. Very well themed. Uh, we're going to go to the next one. We have Battle of Legends Volume 2. All right, Battle of Legends Volume 2 is one of my favorite sets of all time for sure um the theming of this one high ground is cool uh high ground not hitting two spaces away doesn't make sense um like you only get high ground if you're right next to them i don't know that's fine well, whatever that's fine maybe, maybe that's how it would work in, in battle too I, i'm not sure um Wukong. The whole set. The art's good. Of course the art's really good. The map looks great. I don't know why the four fighters would be at Hanging Gardens, but I also don't know why they would not be at Hanging Gardens. Um, it doesn't necessarily, like, I don't think, like, oh, Hanging Gardens for any of the fighters. But it, it does feel like it works for all of them thematically. Um, it, it, it can work for all of them. A Bloody Mary would be the least appropriate, I think, being there, um, just in my mind. Wukong, obviously, should be in China. I don't know where the hand guards are. Um, I think he's in China. Pretty sure Wukong would be China. So, yeah, maybe that's like the little, a knock there. Um, the minis are cool. Uh, Yanenga looks great. She's like on her back foot, I think, if I remember correctly. She's on that rock. Uh, Wu Kong's really cool. He's up in on his pole, his pole, his staff, um, and Bloody Mary's great. She's got the double sided, the double sided uh, mini, which is cool because you can literally. She's the only fighter that it doesn't really matter which way you're facing because you're always facing the right way. Um, so it works really, really well. I like this to be the front though. This is the front. This is the back. Um, and there's three of her three heads. Really cool, like a really cool mini. Um, and then Achilles, very cool as well. It's it's odd that he's like aiming down. I don't know, I don't know in what situation. I guess the hang that because he's in hanging gardens, he's like the high ground, but besides that situation, he's almost, he would never be just aiming down. So it does annoy me a little bit that he's aiming down, but it's more dynamic than I guess just the classic, like aiming straight ahead at you. Um, I don't know, it looks good. The, the whole set looks really good. The card art works really well. Uh, and the abilities, 
everything feels it feels right um, for their for their characters and for the abilities that they have. The the kits work really well. The double attack is a really cool mechanic that comes out in this set and is only in this set. And um, yeah, the only knock would be like I don't know locationally where you where, where, if there's a better place to play, but any hanging gardens. Um, but I'm glad it exists for sure. Next set. Oh, interesting. Okay, this one this one feels weird being here. This feels weird being here. Uh, Cobble and Fog, which is the most thematic set, I would say. How... Sometimes, guys, when I make a set, when I make a tier list, I'm like... A little bit later, I realize, what was I thinking, you know? Um, I gotta think about this one. I'm not sure why we put... Why did I put this here? Um, I'll, I'll talk about it, and then we'll move it around if we need to. Um, so, oh, okay. Mm, no, but see, okay, so, so, immediately I'm thinking of the maps, right? The maps, we have Baskerville, you have Soho. Um, those both work thematically for, for the sets, for those four fighters that we have. Dracula's pose, very boring. Sherlock's pose, better than Dracula, but still boring. He's just like a, like a little old-timey boxing. That, it's fine. It works. I don't know what else he could be doing besides like just magnifying glass to the ground. Like, okay, who's, he's not fighting anybody like that. So it makes sense that he's doing the old-timey boxing thing. Jekyll and Hyde. Cool idea. I like where they're going with it, but not the best execution. Um... I wish he was maybe maybe like instead of just like one side has an axe, one side has the bottle and one side's like like sleeves rolled up, the other side's a little more professional. I wish it was more of like the movie style that we get where like you know, like the person has changed and like actually is bigger and stronger or like one of those things. That would have been probably a little cooler. Um, and then it would have definitely made um, Hyde more uh, more intense, more scary. Um, Hyde's ability uh, is awful. So Jekyll and Hyde ability is just really not good and doesn't feel like it would work. Like it just doesn't work. It needs to be different. It just needs to be different. Um, uh, Invisible Man elevates this set very high for the theming. Uh, the Invisible Man himself, like him not being in the mini, was the coolest thing when I opened that up. It's probably my favorite mini for a very long time before T-Rex. I want to say it was the is my favorite mini before then because it's it was so cool to have the hat but not have his face inside. There's just something about that, guys. It's it's like incredible when you have it. If you look at it, it's so cool. Especially when you paint it. Like my set's being painted. Um, I just I just love it. Um, the card art, it's good, not great. Uh, I don't I, I like. It's, it feels old timey. Um, I, I want more. I guess it. I guess it works. I guess it really. It works for what it's going for. It's like black and white with like hints of color. There's splashes of green for uh, Jekyll and Hyde. There's splashes of gold for Sherlock Holmes. There's splashes of red for Dracula. Um, but it's a lot of just grays and stuff. And there's splashes for of blue for Invisible Man. And. Uh, Yeah, let's just, I, th I think uh, it's a really good set, and it, and that's probably going to be higher. I'm, I'm going to be bumping it higher probably, as, along with um, man, all the sets are so good though. I think we got to do this. I think we got to do this here. Yeah, we're going to do that, and this. Uh, I, I like that better. I feel better about that. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're almost done with this one, guys. Next up, we have Deadpool. So Deadpool, um, it's very cool. Uh, it works very well for what they did with him. Um, him attacking and getting health back is cool. Uh, with his all the unique cards, the thirty-one different cards or thirty different cards. 
Um, very cool. The the uh, the he's definitely not overpowered in any way. Um, him coming into the the set and like trying to get his own set, uh, hijacking their cards and using different like ID cards and stuff really works well. And the whole theme of this package, this might need to be higher actually, because the whole theme of the package, um, breaking the fourth wall in, in a lot of different ways, it really works well. So he is he is very high. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep that for now. Next up, Little Red Riding Hood versus Beowulf. And uh This is so good. So, so Red Riding Hood and Beowulf. It the way with like them going th like into the lore, into the the epic poem, um, and her story, and having that like be the thing. Um, and then her like having the the three different symbols that she has to get. The way they did that throughout all the cards, and the the abilities that she gets, like it feels really really good. Um, the minis are really, really cool. She looks like she could actually fight somebody, even though she's this tiny little girl. One of the smallest minis in the game, and she looks like she could take out somebody, for sure. Uh, and then Beowulf is just classic, uh, very noble, very, very, um, I don't know. Yeah, he's that. Um, it works well. It works really well. Map is cool. Uh, the doors and stuff, uh, it works. It works really well. It looks good. The artwork in this set is awesome. Uh, some of my favorite artwork. I don't know who did the set. It might. Is it? No, it's not Oliver. I don't think it was Oliver. Um, it might be. I don't think it was though. Really cool artwork. And then um, let's think. Let's think, guys. The rage. Rage is cool. It's a really good mechanic that that they they use really well. Uh, I don't know if it feels like Beowulf at all, but it it works really well. The way that they have him gaining rage when he takes damage and the way that they can use it, that you can use it in the set, and the way that her cards go back and forth, like the way that they, they work together um, and the two sets complement each other really well, even though they're against, against each other, um, makes the whole package very, very great thematically. But guys, we still have Cobble and Fog. Man, that, I don't know how I could, how can you knock Cobble and Fog below that? Oh, Deadpool, Deadpool. Yeah, 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 we're staying right there. Um, next up we have Houdini Genie. So I know I'm not going to put this one as high as it is. Uh, we're going to go here. So, and the reason is, and if you can give me a better answer, maybe I've already asked this, maybe you've already answered me, but what Solomon's Mine, why? Why are we there? Why are we in Solomon's Mine? So... I don't know. Maybe you have to pick some like generic thing when you have two random people fighting each other. Maybe that's why. Um, doesn't make sense that we're there. It wouldn't make sense, I guess, anywhere. You couldn't pick a single location, though, and have the genie fight uh, Houdini. The artwork in this set is top, 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 top notch. Um, some of the coolest artwork, the, the genie... Uh, Mini and Houdini Mini. Houdini's Mini is really, really good. Uh, it makes you wish that they had done better with all the other minis that are just standing there. Because he could have just been standing there, but he's like, like got his, you know, shackles off. Uh, it's really cool. Um, and then the, 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 the sets that have the artwork on the bottom of their, of their stuff here, like the, the, like the extra printed, um, what do you want to call it? Like, flavor I'm not sure um, those are way cooler than these than just the clear nothing's going on um, and there are a handful of them that do it and the ones that do it are mm, chef's kiss uh, it's like when the card when the cards when the art like has a, a, an art that that like comes over when the, when it crosses the line um, what's the card that does that for you guys that I can show you? You know what I'm talking about, right? Here we go. So, like, with Thwip. If you look at Thwip, the 
the web comes over the red. Love when cards do that. That's the coolest thing. Um, so when you've got a set that has that plus the stuff on the ground of the minis on all of them, that, that attention to deta detail is absolutely incredible and worth it. Um, so uh, looking, looking at Houdini Genie, um, the, uh, the ability that Houdini has, even though it doesn't feel like Houdini, the ability that he has is really well done and executed throughout his deck. Um, the being able to boost uh, and get the effects of the different things and, and like dude and like the way you use Bess where you're not really using Bess but um, the way you use her and it's it's really good and then Genie with with the wishes and doing either going super aggro or trying to make do like more of like a um, more of a passive fatigue kind of kind of gameplay um, works really well the card art the minis the map uh, map is cool it's a cool map but it doesn't make sense thematically for me. And um, maybe maybe Houdini's just like visiting the Solomon Mines, and then like he disturbed the lamp, and then the genie came out. That actually, guys, that's a pretty good uh, that's a pretty good reason for them being there. Should they go higher? Should they go higher? No. No, no. Even though Doctor Sattler is just like this, that T Rex though, guys, that T Rex. This is so tough, guys. All everything in S tier is just so good. I'm gonna leave them there. I'm happy with them being there. Um, next up, we have Tales to a Maze. Now, Tales to a Maze, I had here. We're gonna start with it here, and then we're gonna talk about it. And as I talk about, it, I'm gonna move it down, if I need to. Tales to a Maze. Oh, it's tough to move it down. Four fighters. Two massive. The, look at that box. Oh, that box looks so good. It feels it feels like you've taken like you've gone back in time, right? And you're playing this like retro game, and you're fighting the you're fighting the monster that's in the black and white movie um, with the Martian and and the uh, um, Mothman. It looks really good. The minis are really good. Uh, you, you saw my knock on the on the fires. They all have this clear um, bottom, and there's not they're not really dynamic. The the most dynamic one would be Golden Bat because uh, he's he's coming up into the air, which is cool. That would be a knock for sure. The 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 what are they called? The um, tokens, guys, for the sidekicks for the minions. The way you, f the way they feel. If you played a Zool, it's like that. It kind of feels like a Zool, but nicer. There's it's like a little, bit, and then like the on every single one they have like they're breaking that like the line, like they're crossing the line in some way, which is again super cool. Great attention to detail. The, the different events, the way that the the cards, the initiative, all that stuff, the bridges. The maps themselves really work thematically and like they look really good. This is a really, really good set. This is a really good set. I'm gonna I'm what I'm gonna do though is this guys. It's such a good set, but we're gonna go one back. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna do that because the minis. The minis take it back. Even though there's more minis and there's all this more content, of course. I'm gonna drop it down one. We're gonna keep Cobble and Fog at the top because Invisible Man uh, just elevates that set super high. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. The Martian. Oh, the little guys. Okay, so if you did the, if you did the Kickstarter, you got the little guys, the little green guys, and you got the little red uh, bugs, and the Martian green thing. It's really good. Oh, the whole package. The 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 floors on the minis and the and the no dynamic poses is really. This is really. This is a tough one. Either way you slice it, uh, those two are incredible. Um, the next one we have, guys, is for King and Country. For King and Country. So I have for King and Country up here. Let's see if we should keep it here and move it down. Oh, 
awesome minis. Really good minis. This is these are these minis are in line with Brains and Brawn minis. The map works really well. Looks really cool. Super thematic. Um, makes sense for these fighters to have that map, just like Brains and Brawn. Um, the card art. I love the card art for all three of these guys. I really like this card art. It's very different. Uh, it's different than the Oliver Barrett style. Um, it's more comic-y, and this is what I wish the uh, Redemption Row looked like. And the the three different play styles and the way that they come through in the cards, really, really good. This this is a yeah. This is one of the most thematic packages, I think. And I, I have a, I don't have a single knock on it because so again I, I, I could knock this set if you're trying to say okay Black Panther doesn't feel like Black Panther I could knock it but that's not what I'm doing here what I'm doing is okay so they chose what they chose for Black Panther and then how does that work with the set and it works really well uh, it works with really well with the whole set it works really well with his cards uh, that he can take 10 cards um, and Cherie's gonna help him do that and uh, Black Widow's doing her missions um, and the Winter Soldier is, is running but then like has his negative effects that are gonna happen if he attacks like it, it works really well yeah I'm gonna keep it here I'm gonna keep it here I, I, that's a it's probably a shock to a lot of well maybe not a shock if you know how much I like Black Panther but it's a shock um, and then the next set the last set guys we have Sun's Origin now can I make a reason to put it up here at the very top or can I have a reason to not put it at the very top? Because, okay, so the set, guys, it feels really good. The map is absolutely beautiful. Um, and Tomoe looks awesome. It's a dynamic pose. She's got her spear on her back. She's shooting a bow. I keep looking over. She's right there. I've I got a lot of stuff here. That's why I keep looking over. Is I've got a bunch of things just laid out on the table. Um, and then Oda looks, he looks like a baller, dude. He's just, he's just like, yeah, you know, like he's, it's really good. And then the, the minis, um, not the minis, the tokens for the side, for his heroes, for his, uh, sidekicks, the honor guard, it's that same quality as Tales to Amaze. All right. The card art, the color scheme for Tamawi, the car, the color scheme for Oda Incredible. Um, the card art is so good for both of them. The ability for Tomoe and her cards interacting with that ability and the way that it works is really, really good. And then with Oda, same thing. It's really, really good. I don't think there's a single negative I could say about this set. Besides, like competitive viability, but I'm not even talking about that. We're not we're not touching that at all in here. So, this set is easily going to be top four. Easily top four. All four of these guys. You know what we're gonna do? I hope you stay till the end, cause uh, this is why you stay to the end, boys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna just go crazy here. But. Uh, let's do it like this. We're going to do this. Boom, ski, boom, ski, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, now that, now it makes, that feels good. That feels really good. Okay. Now, again, all the sets are awesome. All the sets are awesome. All the sets have incredible theme. And they all really come through. It hurts me to have Jurassic Park that low. It hurts me to have Brains and Brawn that low. The whole package. Let's think about the whole package. Should I move it around some more? The whole package. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Man, Deadpool's, Deadpool's getting the shaft here. I don't, I don't like it. All right. I'm locking it in. 
I'm walking in. That's that's. Oh wait, but Sun's origin number one. Oh. Cobble and fog at four. That's fine. It's fine. The minis. The minis are huge. In the minis, how can you? If all of these are equal, then the thing with the most stuff. Well, no, but it's not equal. I think it goes like this. I think it goes like that. Yeah. No, there's no, not a single knock on this one. There's not a single knock on this one. This has more content, so therefore it did more perfect. And then I got one knock on each of these. This has more content, so it is more perfect or more, more better. So locked in, guys. I'm happy with it. Um, and now slings and arrows. Here we go. We're going to take a stab at slings and arrows. The complete set. And what I need to do for my last video, I had slings and arrows high for the feel. I think it needs to be down on the feel because this is going to be the this is going to be where the other one is. And I think the theme is going to be really high. I think we're going to be right there, um, maybe a little higher. Uh, and then the feel should be probably like down, you know, like B or something. Um, I, but yeah, slings and arrows, guys, it's gonna be really, really good. It should be really, really good. So make sure you get a copy of that. And uh, yeah, I love it. I'll save this for you guys later. And um, let's get that. Let's go to the the uh, other page here. Um, so uh, there you have it. Let me know what you think. Uh, how much? How badly do you hate the list I just did? And does it make sense? How similar is it to the the, the feeling one? Um, I hope you understand like the differences I was trying to go for, like like what I was ranking differently, um, and that it had some weight to it that it actually made sense. Uh, Cause it was hard to talk about. <laughs> it's hard to vocalize and verbalize what I was doing. So I hope it made sense as I was doing it. Um, and I've got a new. Uh, I'm retiring my Patreon ending screen because it died. Uh, it died on like last week. And so I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that again. Uh, but I will just do a shout out right now. What we'll do again is a shout out to my crockpots, uh, Bromantic, Greg's, Lasinski, 619 Sports, Chick Charney, O Town, Shaggy for Smash. Thank you guys for your support so much. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I've got some more tier list videos. You can check them out. Um, I will see you guys on Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh, this Thursday is I've got, so I'm starting a new series. Uh, O-Town's going on a hiking trip. I was supposed to go, but I've got a wedding on Friday, so I could not go. Um, he's doing a multi-day hiking trip. It's going to be awesome. And so I'm starting a new series. And I reached out to Zero Skater, Chad, and uh, Phantom. And they're going to be my, my first three... Uh, guests on this new series and it's gonna be called crockpot and friend and it will be a series where I play a game with them uh, one to best of three so it's either just one game if they don't if they don't have too much time or a best of three and I'm gonna play with them a uh, some kind of format of casual gameplay um, and uh, I'll be asking them questions as we play um, questions from you guys so if you have any questions for them uh, either put them in the comments below of this video or shoot me a message or do both and um, I'll be asking some questions from you guys, questions from myself, just to get to know them as we play, um, and then uh, have some really fun, high quality gameplay. So it should be a really cool series that starts, uh, my first game will be on this next Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, and then that's with Zero Skater. I'll be playing Phantom on Saturday, then the Saturday after that Thursday I'll be playing Phantom. And we'll be talking about Winter Champions, of course, with both, with all of them. Uh, and then chat will be later on. I'm not sure when that happens. I think chat will be the next Thursday, but that's, I'm not sure exactly. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. As always, it's your captain signing off.